Hi everyone, Thomas here and welcome back to another video. So today I'm back here for another speed build and today we are doing an industrial apartment. Now I haven't really done anything like this before and um, I kind of got the idea from a friend Spring Sims here on YouTube aka Steven and he talks a lot in his videos about getting inspiration from Pinterest and just looking at different interior design things on there. So I decided to try that out and see if I could get inspiration for a build because I was kind of in the mood to do some sort of building and um, I came across a lot of industrial style buildings and stuff like that and one of them was apartments and I thought it'd be a really good idea to do that today so um I couldn't really I mean the pictures weren't like brilliant so I just had to go with my own instincts and what I thought would be industrial style um so some of the stuff isn't well you may not think it's industrial so but I tried my best um so I think that industrial and I've seen this a few times is lots of like uh like bare bricks on the inside of the house as well which I think is a really really nice look so I did try to incorporate that as much as I can without kind of going overkill on it so most rooms, I think, in this house have a brick wall of some sort. Um, I think the, like the living room has a couple of them. Um, and I do change the wall styles and things as I go. Um, and then for the other like wall coverings apart from brick, I just use like a, a pale paint. Um, and as you'll see there, so um, I'm going to talk you through the rest of the build now. But you can head over to my Origin ID, which is Real Thomas TV One, and you can go ahead and download this for yourself. Um, sometimes I do get a CC glitch where it'll say I have CC in it when I don't um, but luckily I didn't get that this time but if you for some reason you can't find it then I might not be thinking right and I might have got the CC glitch but I don't think I did so if you can't find it then just um, hit the advanced tab and go into include custom content and you'll find that if you can't so here we are on the living room area I think we've already done the kitchen and I totally forgot to talk about that and um, there is kind of like these industrial style counters in the game already which is great but they don't have the cabinets for the like the top bit so I just use some uh, cabinets from cool kitchen stuff and I use that for the other bit which I thought would kind of match the one below but not you know that good but there wasn't any other options really um, and I really really like the paintings I used I use a lot of city living items I think the packs I used here were city living uh, movie hangout stuff uh, for the curtains in the co um, conservatory really not a conservatory the bedroom I don't know how I got those two mixed up um, I used spa day maybe one or two items in the bathroom for that and um, there was another pack as well and I can't remember what it was but uh, yeah those were pretty much the only packs I used and um, well you'll see the packs I used on the gallery because it tells you which packs I used in the build um, and yes yeah, so I'm really really happy how this turned out and um, I feel like what happened with this build which really made me like proud of it in a way was that I didn't make it too big I feel like I do that a lot and it just takes us so so long and I get really impatient having to put loads of paintings everywhere and just load of clutter to fill up the space and doesn't really look too great so um and for some reason I've paused and I don't know why okay there we go I thought my thing had frozen um so yeah like the bedroom you'll see in a minute is really really like cramped in a way I mean it doesn't look bad that it's cramped it's just smaller than usual and I think that was really really good for like a change because I make my rooms too big and then I'm like oh this doesn't look too great so I did that this time and I think that was a, a good thing to do and um, so the paintings I think I mentioned this I use a lot of city living paintings I just thought those looked the best for this um, and yeah so another thing I haven't mentioned in my videos yet I'm actually partnered now with Curse Network as the, I'm recording this I'm recording this on the 28th of January you're probably seeing this sometime into February and um, but I did get partnered let's see I'm gonna look at my calendar here I think it was around oh let's see I think it was maybe the 19th of January I think it was around that date and um, I got partnered with Curse Network and I'm really really happy with it Um, one of the things that I really really like now I'm partnered with I get access to epidemicsound.com which is um, you would normally need a license to use songs from there but it has thousands and thousands of songs and in my last couple of videos I have been using songs from there Um, and it's just a really really good thing I'm like the only thing that I really really like about Curse Network is that I get access to this it's like the best thing about it to be honest so yeah I'm just excited to have loads of music in my videos now um, but for this build like I mean some of them I don't really use a lot of um, like it's normally builds where I don't really use uh, music in I don't know why just for builds for some reason it doesn't really seem right having background music in I don't know why but oh well so um, where I do have that um, music station right there in the middle of the room I do actually change that around later and I do put a desk in there because I was going to put that in the bedroom but it was a little bit of a cramped space so 
I did uh, end up moving that, and I ended up actually moving, well, where the music station is, the desk goes there, and then the music station thing, the music, why am I saying music station? <laughs> the music player goes next to the door, and I do uh, scale that down to, like, a cheaper one. Um, well, not that we were running out of money or anything, just a smaller size, which ended up being cheaper. Um, I think this was around 47,000 civilians, which I don't think is too bad, actually. I thought it would be a lot more than that, um, but it wasn't, which is great. So, um, for the uh, dining room areas, just a small little table I put in there in the corner of the room. I really like how it just fits nice into that corner there but um, at the end I felt like there was a little bit too much of empty space in that area so I did actually add another seat in uh, just to fill up the space a little bit more. Um, so as you can see in the bedroom here which well the bedroom is probably my favourite room of the house and um, I do put some of those pillars columns however you say of them um, in the room there to separate the brick walls from the paint um, but I did actually put a bookshelf which you'll see towards the end of the um, build next to one of those pillars it's on the side where the door is i did put in like an industrial style bookshelf there so i did actually change that um just like well i think i had a little bit too much brick wall in that room so i did change that a little bit later and um, the curtains that's the i think that's the only item i used from movie hangout stuff and um, i was going to go with something a bit more funky in terms of colors but there wasn't really anything that matched with the rest of the room so i didn't um i just went with the plain one a little bit boring but i suppose that's okay um and yes yeah, so let me know what you thought about this build because i'm like i don't really i don't know like i haven't really seen a lot of industrial stuff so i wasn't too sure what I think about this so just let me know if you have any constructive criticism for me because that really really helps if you have any of that sort of stuff you can just leave those down below in the comment section I won't think of it as hate comments and that will really help me from the next build so now we're onto the bathroom um, and uh, it's kind of a small space but I really really liked how that looked because what I did is I put some um, mirrors on the back wall there where that um, where the brick wall is and I mean that's the only place I had brick wall in that bathroom so I think I should have put the brick wall somewhere else because like the mirrors kind of covered that but I suppose you can kind of see it um, and I just sort of kind of opened up the space a lot Um I think that's something to use in the future is if you have a very small room then just having some big mirrors as one wall is a really good idea go God, I'm speaking too fast and I'm messing up now is a good idea to like just make the space feel bigger um, into I was kind of struggling in this bathroom to how to make this industrial I just didn't really know what to do for it so I did add some of those um, counters in there which I did use the same in the kitchen and put those in the bathroom because I th thought those were kind of industrial like um, and I really really like these uh, rugs that I'm using I don't think I used no I didn't use it in the bathroom but the other ones um, in the well it, it's the same one I have in the bedroom and in the main area um, I really really like those I believe they is, those come with their uh, city living I think they're like fey fe oh, God I can't speak fake um like fur rugs and they just look really really nice um those two lights that i have on that rug as well next to the tv um those two like i, I don't know how you explain like kind of like boom stands really um i really really like those those are one things that like when i think of industrial and the sims 4 that's the one thing i come to is those lights i just that's one thing i think of and also totally forgot to mention in the bedroom those um kind of like pipe lights on the wall i really really like um and that was something that came with city living i believe and as you can see there i'm putting in that industrial style bookshelf which i really really like um so we are nearing the end of the build now also i want you to let me know in the comments section how long do you think a speed build video should be um for a build like this it is around 10 minutes i think that's okay for my starter homes are around that as well some of them are a little bit less some of them a little bit more just depends on how big they are and um, but i'll just just put a rough number of minutes in the description no not the description the comment section of how long you think a speed build should be because i don't want them to be too short because i mean like I only upload a couple of days a week so then like the video's over in like a couple of minutes and then oh gotta wait a couple more days for another video um but then sometimes when it gets like too long then it gets a little bit boring unless I have something interesting to say so let me know what you think about that um I also want you to let me know in the comment section what you thought of this build like I said constructive criticism would be great if you have any other further suggestions for videos that you want me to do in the future then just leave those down below in the comment section um if there's any like particular packs that you want me to make a particular build from then that's also a good suggestions to leave down below as well um you can also leave some like Pinterest ideas like if you have any Pinterest links you want to send me I mean it'll probably automatically mark as spam in the uh, comment section but you can just tweet me at real thomas tv one which is the same as my origin id where you can download this this apartment from oh the other thing i forgot to mention is and um, because this is an apartment you can't actually upload those to the gallery which i think is really stupid to be honest um but what i had to do was actually remove the doors from the bathroom and the bedroom 
So when you go back in to actually, um, if you download this for yourself, then you would have to put those back in, but they are just the same doors as the uh, front door, so you could easily just copy those over. I did use uh, Penny Pizzazz's default home um, as this place, so that might be a good place to put it in, so you know, all the walls and things are the same size, if you know what I mean. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!